Since Magical Express is no more, while I was here I wanted to point out the new way of transportation to get from the airport to your Disney Resort Hotel. It's called Mirrors Connect. It is $32 per adult round trip and $27 per child. I just ended up renting a car in the end. But without further ado, let's get to the room tour. Hello everyone, I am here to do my room tour at All Star Movie Resorts. It is about 10 p.m. I just arrived through my suitcase in here and I just wanted to do the tour first before I, you know, strewn my stuff about or messed up the bed or anything like that so that you guys can see what I see when you first arrive in the room. I use my handy dandy magic band to enter. Ta-da! So the first thing I noticed about this room is it's very clean, um, maybe even a sterile feeling to it. It's not like the coziest room. Um, not the coldest, but not the coziest, kind of somewhere in the middle. So where should I start? I think I'm gonna start over here at the breakfast nook. This is what I'm going to call this little area over here. You have a little refrigerator, no freezer, but fridge. And then in this drawer right here, we have green tea, decaf coffee, regular coffee, and Earl Grey. I shouldn't say regular coffee because this is actually pretty cool. Joffrey's is a delicious brand that does all of Disney's coffees. And they have the 50th anniversary blend right now. So I like that, it's a dark roast. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure I will. I always like the Joffrey's. Sugar, creamers, stir sticks, straws, sweet and low. And I like that their coffee cups are to-go cups, so you can make it in the morning and take it with you. They have the lids for it, water cups. Of course, they have the coffee maker right here and your classic ice bucket. They also have the air conditioning and heating right here. Looks like they automatically set it to 68 degrees for when the guests arrive. They have a couple of tiny trash cans down there. And panning to my left here, lots of plugs and USB ports I'm noticing. There's a couple over here as well. Let's go over here. They have it there and there. And by the way, when you first walk in, it's not all dark and creepy because I'm by myself, so, and it's nighttime. <laughs> but when I opened the door, they actually had this TV on and it had some Disney instrumental music playing. So it was very nice and inviting when I walked into the room. Uh, they have some drawers down here, three big drawers. To the left you have some cabinets with some shelving and your safe. I also just wanted to add that this TV moves. Panning to the left, some more. Here is the bed, lots of pillows. I think that is a pretty sufficient amount of pillows. They have eight pillows on the bed right there. That's lovely. Another cool thing about that bed area is you can st stick your suitcases and whatnot underneath the bed right there. So to give you some more space in here. So I'd like to show you guys the coolest feature of the room before uh, we head into the bathroom area. gonna be I was trying too hard at first I was like I need to like put the table up somehow or something but no you literally just go for it and grab and it all folds how cool is this it's not just like any old Murphy bed it's a Disney bed it has a little nice lighting above there and it has Huey Dewey and Louie and it looks like they're dreaming and imagining them doing fun wild stuff but who's that 
Is that like their grandma or something? Anyway, their mom? I don't know. And the last thing in here is there's a window right here. There's a curtain. So let's move on to the bathroom now, shall we? And there's a little spot right there to hang your coats or purses or hats or whatnot. And the door to the bathroom is one of those, I don't know if it's called barn style or, or sliding door style. There's a, a name for it. I'm just too tired to think of it at the moment. All right, there we are. So first thing is to the right you have, you may have been wondering why there's no closet in here. It's because it is in the bathroom. So you have a few wooden hangers, a nice little storage space up here. You can even put some shoes or something down there. The ironing board is hiding right behind it. You have your extra toiletries, an iron, hair dryer, and this looks like a pretty good hair dryer. I mean, I'm gonna be trying it out, so I'll let you know. But it looks kind of legit. <laughs> I've seen worse, that's all I'm gonna say. You have more space to store things down here. I have to say that this resort is not lacking in the storage space with their rooms. They really did a good job when they remodeled of utilizing all of the space in the room that they have. So you also have the facial soap, the H2O sea salt. And then you have your makeup mirror right here which has the macro side and the regular mirror side. Let's see, where's the light for this? What is this? Oh, that was for that. This is also a really nice mirror, by the way. It's just big. The lighting that they're using is really nice. Um, same with the lighting that they have in here. All the lights, they're not blinding and they're also bright enough. The bathroom looks very nice. Also the tile floor, by the way, we transitioned from a wood flooring to a nice tile. There's enough space in here to walk in and you don't have to open the door and try to like shimmy around the door to get, you know, to shut the door. It's another barn style. Ooh, let's turn the light here before I, oh. Hello, door. So just a little squeaky. But yeah, another barn style door so that you don't have to open it and shimmy around. A nice little sliding shower door. Look at that shower head. Looks very nice. And they also have this, I believe these are in all of the resorts nowadays. This is actually very, expensive if you buy this stuff the gift shop here at the resort it is like i think the shampoo that i saw was like 21 dollars, and the conditioner was 21 dollars. so it's very expensive but they do have it in here for free for you to use and you can see why they like they like lock it up so no one can take it now i feel silly i actually brought uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash because I have not stayed at a Disney resort in a long time. But as far as Disney World goes, I have only stayed at the Coronado Resort and I believe they did have that same setup, but I forgot that they provide you with shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, so I didn't have to bring all of that, but I did. But I'm gonna try theirs instead. I don't wanna use mine, I wanna try theirs out. I am exhausted, which I'm sure you guys can all tell by <laughs> the way that I was rambling. It's even hard to like articulate words at this point. So I think I am going to put this Murphy bed back up because I am alone and just jump onto all these pillows and do a dog pile with these pillows and pass out. And tomorrow it is Magic Kingdom time. Haven't been to Magic Kingdom in a long, long time. Last time I was here, which was October, did not go to Magic Kingdom. I also just wanted to say Happy Valentine's Day, because it's Valentine's Day 2022. And as you can see, I am now making myself 
at home. But this door right here to the bathroom is actually a silence door. So you could try to slam it even, but the last part there, it stops it and shuts it quietly for you watch. Whew. Wasn't even touching it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in to my room tour and we will also be doing a video of the resort grounds as well. Bye.